The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, Camtel, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Hello. Today we are going to have a vocabulary lesson. My name is Lukon Yunusa, your English teacher for Catrium. In the last class, I gave you an assignment, and I'm sure you did the assignment. You were asked to do this. In your own sentences, say whether your friend likes or dislikes the activities below. In your own words, say whether your friend likes or dislikes the activities below. We have an example. Peter likes the Ngon Festival. Peter likes the Ngon Festival. Point one, we have traditional music. Two, canoe race. Four, masquerade dance. And five, beauty competition. There is a problem. We have one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, and four. Okay, you could say, Amadou likes traditional music. You could still say, Amadou dislikes traditional music. Remember, our last class was on the use of likes and dislikes. Sentence 2.2, 2, you could just say, Ateba likes the cane race. The same as Ateba dislikes the cane race. Another person will say, My friend likes the masquerade dance. Same as my friend dislikes the masquerade dance. Four, beauty competition. Samira likes the beauty competition. Samira dislikes the beauty competition. So these are possible answers of your assignment. My friend likes traditional music because it is beautiful. Two, Peter dislikes the cane race because it is frightful. Four, Samira dislikes the masquerade dance because the masquerades frighten people. Four, Beauty competition. Amina likes the beauty competition because of the different types of dresses she sees. Like I said, today we are going to have a vocabulary lesson. And what is this vocabulary lesson? We are going to be looking at words and expressions related to cultural manifestation words and expression related to traditional and cultural manifestations. Here is our lesson outline. 
we have lesson objectives, previous knowledge, problem solving situation, lesson activities, exercise, and on assignment. As far as the lesson objectives are concerned, you will be able to identify words and expressions related to traditional and cultural manifestation by the end of this lesson. Two, you will use the words in sentences to describe such manifestation. So you have two objectives for this lesson. Let's look at your pre our previous knowledge. To understand this lesson, we assume that, and we are probably sure that, you can identify words and expression related to social occasion. You can as well use these words in sentences correctly. Now, let's revise, let's revise this knowledge. We have a picture, this is going to be picture A, and you have a task, match each picture with the name of its corresponding social occasion in the list below. You have four occasions. First, wedding ceremony. Two, family reuni reunion. Three, birthday party. Four, end of year event. So you have four events or social occasions. Now, I would like you to match this picture to one of these social occasions. Here, we have a birthday cake. So which social occasion matches to a birthday cake? We have one, wedding ceremony, two, family reunion, B, uh, C, sorry, a birthday party, end of year event. So the correct answer here should be a birthday party. Birthday party, this is a birthday cake. In birthday parties, we always see a birthday cake. We have picture B. Picture B. Match each picture with the name of its corresponding social occasion in the list below. We have a wedding ceremony, family reunion, birthday party, end of year event. In picture A, our answer was birthday party. Now we are moving. We are moving to Sorry. We are now moving to picture B. We have wedding ceremony, family re reunion, birthday party, end of year event, and on the picture, we can see a man and a woman. And from their dressing, we can say it is a wedding ceremony, a wedding ceremony. They are getting married. Now, let's move, move to picture C. We have a picture showing December 31st, 2020. So what could be this social occasion? from the, 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 the date, we can say that it is an end of year event. End of year 
event, end of year party or end of year celebration. Now we have the fourth picture, picture D. On this picture, we can see many people, young and older people. And what do you think could be happening on this picture? From, the, from their actions, we can say that it is a family reunion, a family reunion. Okay, look at the pictures and give five items we usually have on social occasions. Look at the pictures and give five items we usually have on social occasions. Yes, we can have birthday, we can have cakes, we can have meals. We can have music, we can have decoration, we have balloons, we can have games, among others. Here we have balloons, here we have a meal. Here we have a picture representing music, and here we have an invitation card. To invite people to your social occasions, it's good to send them invitation cards formally. So here we have the items. We have invitation cards, cakes, food and drinks, decorations, guests, people come for your social occasions, the people you invite are called guests, music and dance floor. So these are some of the items we have during social occasions. Now, complete this closed passage with words related to social occasions. And here is the passage. My friend invited me to a social occasion. It was his birthday dash. The dash card was sent to me one month before the dash. So, that I can get ready with my dash to offer and my beautiful dash since we had a dress code. On the D day, one could see many dash who were invited. A disc jockey who played good dash. People were so happy on the dash floor after having appreciated delicious dash and nice drinks offered on the menu. The reception hall was full of dash with dash with balloons and flowers. Your task is to complete this closed passage with correct words related to social occasion. Let's go back. We can say, my friend invited me to a social occasion. It was his birthday party. The dash, the dash card was sent to me one month before. We can say, the invitation card was sent to me one month before. The event, before the event, 
so that I can get ready with my presence or gift to offer to offer and my beautiful dress clothes or attires since we had a dress code on the on the D day one could see many many who were invited so we can go back here and say many people guests who were invited a disc jockey who played good music people were so happy on the dance floor after having appreciated delicious meals of foods and nice drinks offered offered on the menu the reception hall was full of decorations with balloons and flowers so here are the answers of our task my friend invited me to a social occasion it was his birthday party the invitation card was sent to me one month before the celebration so that i can get ready with my gifts or present to offer and my beautiful clothes since we had a dress code on the d day one could see many guests who were invited a disc jockey always abbreviated as dj who played good music people were so happy on the dance floor after having appreciated delicious foods and nice drinks offered on the menu the reception hall was full of decorations with balloons and flowers what is our problem solving situation today what's our problem solving situation today Your teacher gave you a homework to describe a cultural event you attended in your community. You watched so many colorful activities and enjoyed the event, but you don't have the suitable words to use in your sentences. Here, this is your problem solving situation by the end of this lesson you should be able to solve this problem you should be able to use correct words related to cultural and traditional manifestations correctly let's now move to our lesson activities proper look at the picture and describe it using the these guidelines look at the picture and describe it using these guidelines. A, what are the people doing? B, from which region of Cameroon, sorry, from which region of Cameroon are they? C, is the event modern or traditional? And say why? Here, if they ask you, what are the people doing? What are the people doing? 
you can say they are singing. The people are singing. They are dancing. Singing, dancing. From the instruments they have in their hands, they have, you can say they are singing or dancing. So, they are singing, dancing, or celebrating an event. Look at the picture and describe now from which, sorry, from which region of Cameroon, sorry, Cameroon, remember that Cameroon in English has two O's. From which region of Cameroon are they? From their attire, from their dress, we can see these people are from the northwest region of Cameroon. So we can see they are from the northwest region of Cameroon. Is the event modern or traditional? They want to know if this event is modern or traditional. So we can say this event is traditional. Why? From the type of dress they wear, the types of musical instruments they use are indicative of the fact that it is traditional. So here are the answers. The event is traditional because their musical instruments, headsets, and costumes are traditional. They represent the culture of the Northwest region. They represent the culture of the Northwest region. Now you have a table I would like you to fill in column B with synonyms of the words in column A. And what do we have in column A? We have manifestation, culture, and tradition. Manifestation, culture, and tradition. And what do you think can be the synonym of manifestation? As far as manifestation is concerned, we can say it is a celebration. Celebration, an event, culture. What could be the synonym of culture? Synonym of culture, we can say custom. Tradition, if they ask you what is a synonym of tradition, you can say tribal. So these words have synonyms. And these are the synonyms. Manifestation. We have ceremony, celebration, or event. We have culture. Synonym of culture, we have tradition and custom. Traditional. We can talk of cultural, ethnical, and tribal. Sorry, there is, an, there is a T, there is an H after T when writing ethnical. What are some of the cultural events we can have in Cameroon? What are some of the cultural events we can have in Cameroon? We have many cultural events in Cameroon or cultural uh, festivals we have in Cameroon. If we go to the literal region, we are going to see the Ngondo Festival. We go to the Northwest region, we can see the Ngonso Festival in the Nso, Nso. We go to the West region, we can see the Ngwon Festival organized by the Bamun people. There are many other festivals in different tribes. Look at this. 
this is a festival. This can also show a traditional marriage as well as a carnival. These are some traditional events. Like I talked, like I said, we have many festivals. We can also have traditional weddings and carnivals. Now, what are the possible activities during traditional events? These pictures can help you. What are the possible activities during traditional events? We have traditional dances. We have meals. We have traditional dresses. We have cultural exhibition, among others. So we have traditional music and dances. We have showcase of traditional dishes and drinks. We have fashion parade of traditional attires, costumes, and clothes. And I know many of you like it. OK. What are the things we can see during a traditional event? What are some of the things we can see during a traditional event? We can have traditional dance. We can have a drum. We can have this. It's from a calabash. So these are some of the things we can see during traditional dances. Traditional musical instruments, traditional decoration, calabash, calabashes, feathers, palm leaves, among others. OK, who can be the people involved during traditional events? From the picture, we can see there are rulers, traditional rulers. And some of these rulers are chiefs, kings, queens, among others. Traditional rulers, notables, villagers, and Guests, tourists even come for traditional festivals. Exercise. Complete this sentence with the words in the list below. We have calabash, rulers, attires, masks, dishes, dance, dowry, feathers, drum, and festival. And here are your sentences. A dash is a cultural event. The groom brought a dash as a gift during the traditional marriage. Some traditional dash in Cameroon are made with ndop and obom. A dash is a traditional musical instrument. The traditional dash in the northern Cameroon is a lamido, okok, and koki are traditional dash. The queen's headdress was decorated with dash. The notables danced wearing dash which covered their faces. The king drank palm wine served in a dash. Asiko is a traditional dash and musical rhythm for the Basa people. So, here, so here, as far as answer, our answer is concerned, we are going to say the king drank palm wine served in a, no, sorry, let's go to one, a dash is a cultural event. A festival is a cultural event. Two, the groom brought a dash as a gift during the traditional marriage. B, number two is dowry. Three, some traditional dash in Cameroon are made with ndop and obom. The answer here is attires. Four, a dash is a traditional musical instrument. Drum. Five, the dash in the northern Cameroon is a lamido. We can say the traditional ruler. Five is ruler. 
Six, okok and cookie are traditional dishes or meals. Seven, the queen's headdress was decorated with feathers. Eight, the notable dance wearing dash, which covered their faces. They were wearing uh, masks, which covered their face. Number eight, the answer is mask. Nine, the king drank palm wine served in a calabash. Ten, asiko is a, tra a traditional uh, dance and musical ryth rhythm for the Basa people. Now, this is your assignment. Write sentences describing a traditional manifestation you attended. These questions will help you. Which traditional event did you attend? Who were the people present? What activities and things did you see? Which dish did you appreciate? Thanks. I hope to meet you in the next class having done your assignment. Una tege si matege yop, una tege minga matege nyum, una tege majang matege ndom, mane tambia niña ne injubia yen, ngani bana matege mot, ngani la kiri watege ndom, esa kina bia jinkido, mane tambia niña ne injubia yen, tam tama mote tam zabike. Tam tama tonge tam zabike tam tam tama mote tam zabike mane tambia niña ne injo biayen.